morning, guys. We are up and we're not ready. We're still in our pajamas, but Nick is in the shower. Shh. I want to show you his room. All right, we have not seen it at all since I showed it to you last night, but miracles could happen, right? Okay. Drinks are still there. No, you can't steal his toys. But, no, you can't steal his fidget spinner either. Put it back. All right, those are his collections. His clothes are all picked up. The floor is pretty clean. He still needs to put a sheet on his bed. His dirty laundry's in a basket. Leave his money alone. That's why little sisters are bratty. Yeah, you like did. On my bed. Yeah, you did find money in your room. But yeah, all the pop is still there. I'm gonna count this for a win for mom. What do you guys think? But he still needs to clean up. I know, but at least he did something. Isn't that impressive? No. No, his girlfriend did it. We definitely think his girlfriend had a, had a part in cleaning this room. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that something I said must have clicked <gasps> in? Because at least his room is a lot better. Is it your nail polish? No. Put it back. It's Put it back. It's his girlfriend's. Put it back. No, we don't steal something from our brothers. Get out. Although Bailey the bird would love these things. Okay, go, go, go. Here he comes. Mom for the win. Anyway, we are finally ready for our day. Well, actually, I'm ready for the day. The girls I'm are waiting. still getting ready. Gabby is waiting to get ready, and Sophie is in the process of getting ready. She is hogging the sink. Sophie, are you hogging the sink? No. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. I like the green part. Like, blue. Let's see. What do you guys She's think? She's a witch. I like this color. Mm. This color, on color is that plum? Purple. Purple. You guys, guess what I'm using? What are you using? Eyeshadow. She's discovered that she can use eyeshadow for lipstick, right? Yes. And it's and it's way better than lipstick because you can bring it anywhere. Yeah, and you don't get black spots all over your face or anything from eyeshadow. Mm. I'm just joking. I'm doing it because I'm filming a video today. Yeah, but do we wear makeup mm. on a regular basis? No. no. Only very rarely. Like, we never wear makeup. They're not allowed to wear makeup. If we, I don't even hardly wear makeup. If we're, I don't even like wear makeup. Yeah, because we're only. She just wears um, I mascara. Mascara. And then my face sweats, my eyes sweat, and then I get black stuff all around my eyes through the whole video, and nobody tells me. <coughs> Making it light up. We have been getting about 100 subscribers a day. 100 subscribers a day. I can't what? even believe it. By tomorrow morning, we will be at. 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 subscribers. No, That's, by midnight. Yeah, by midnight probably we'll be at 5,000. If anybody catches a screenshot of us getting to 5,000 subscribers, please send it to me on Instagram so I can have it because I've had screenshots from all the way up to 5,000. So I don't want to miss it. Anyway, uh, for any of you new subscribers, oh, we're in, purple. We're in Gabby's purple. room and what she's talking about is that she does have the smallest room. She has this tiny little room here but she has this room as well it's nice and cool out here we got this chair at a yard sale last weekend we didn't show you guys we're gonna make a bed frame for this huge bed that we got we got a bit we're gonna make a big huge bed frame for this room sam is going to Wait, she's yeah. got a tv and she's got a dvd player it's nice and cool out here when we woke up this morning then we went in here Nice and cool, yeah. We have the air conditioning on, it's actually cooler in here, so it must be cooler outside. Anyway, we've been slowly working all summer. Oh, I can see the squirrels outside. We've been slowly working all summer to get this room together so she can actually use it. It's my idea, it's not my idea. So many of you guys have sent us ideas that we should set up a Schleich area in here for them to play, and they don't want to because they like their Schleich downstairs. Um, but yeah, it's gonna happen, guys. I just came downstairs and I saw this. How do you ask? Did a little two pound puppy get on top of the couch? I have no idea. This is the first time I've ever seen this. What are you doing up there, Toby? What are you doing up there, skinny boy? You look so skinny in the camera. 
He's like, I'm all alone. Oh, here come your, here come your partners in crime. There's one partner. Where's the other one? He's Cookie. He's coming down. Cookie. I hear the pitter patter of little feet. Cookie. Give a pitter patter. Cookie. What the heck is she doing? Come on. I see her little head there. You guys see it? She's like there. <laughs> what is happening? That's that's a puppy mill behavior. There she comes. She's actually really good. Yeah, she's really good for but being perfect. Every single time when you run, she goes like this. Yeah, she gets nervous still. All right, Sam is home. Why? Why were you home so early? He's outside fixing the trailer. But anyway, yeah, Sam is home early today, and it's between a lunch and a supper. I'm so hungry. I haven't really eaten yet today, so. I was craving french fries, like literally a craving them. We haven't had french fries in a long time. And so I was like, yeah, I'll go get some stuff and we'll cook some french fries. So he went to the store, got some potatoes. And he said he had to go to more than one store because there was like a shortage on potatoes. That's so crazy. All right, so I've got the oil on so it gets nice and hot. And Sophie's gonna show you guys how we make french fries. So we got our potatoes here. That might be a lot of potatoes for us. We got our french fry smasher, so she takes a little tiny potato and she smushes it in there and then she crashes it down and instant french fries. Isn't that the coolest thing? But they need to get cooked. You don't eat them right away. What? Don't eat them right away because they need to get cooked. Right. These need to get cooked, you guys. You don't just eat them. So let's see if she can do it good. Sometimes you have to smash that baby. Not on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch. Oh, he found my one try. Okay, and then. How do you know it's ready? Because it's down all the way. Whoa, see, look at that. Mm -hmm. Perfect, handy dandy french fries. We bought that Whoa. thing last summer at a yard sale and it has been a dream thing. Way? We don't eat french fries all the time, but when we do, it is the best thing ever. I don't even have the box anymore to tell you what it's called. But it is super cool. I hear my boy uh, Bailey screaming to me from the living room. I posted a video on Instagram today of uh, Bailey playing on the floor. He cracks me up. Doesn't he crack you up? He, that bird is hilarious. He walks around and he collects stuff, which is a bird thing. He collects all these little toys and drags them to one spot in the living room and then he protects them and keeps them safe. It's hilarious. If you want to see the video that I posted on Instagram, make sure to follow us on Instagram. It's about his favorite the, toy. Yeah, the information yeah, you, is listed in the comments below, but you've got to see what his favorite toy is. Yeah. Why are you calling me, dude? Every morning, I come in here, I clean his cage, put nice fresh newspaper down there, and then you wreck it. Why? Why are you wrecking your cage? That kind of Huh? Why are you doing that? He's like, I just want out. I just want out. Problem is I fed him blueberries for lunch, so he can't get out because if you don't know, when you feed a bird blueberries for lunch, they poop blue. They poop blue and it's super messy. And just like that, we have awesome french fries. Do you want ketchup? I need salt. I put salt on them, they're already salted. Isn't that amazing? When I was younger, we used to make french fries. It took forever. You had to peel them all, and it was just uh, cut them all. It was just so much work. This thing that makes making french fries so much easier. I don't know why we don't have them more often, but um, I guess it's because they're not really that healthy for you, but oh, it's so good. That's how fast it happens. I just opened the door of the crate of the cage, and then it came, ran to get the camera, and that's how fast Bailey gets out now. He's like, give me some french fries. <laughs> Gabby, please, okay, share with me. Share with me. Don't poop on my blanket, dude. Bailey Bird watching TV. He's right in front of the speakers. He's like, hmm. <laughs> so funny. You know what's super weird is that when I pick up Bailey and put him back in his crate, in his cage, he never bites me. He doesn't even act like he's gonna bite me. He doesn't even pretend. He doesn't bite Gabby. But if Sophie and Sam pick him up, he bites them. Isn't that weird? Is that weird? Yeah. Is that weird? Yeah. We found a horse. We found a horse that we want. It's for sale. We want him. Do you want that horse? 
This is him, you guys. This is the horse. It's a leopard Appaloosa, and it's a gelding. Do geldings have balls? And I yes. stepped in it again. And what? Do you think, Gabby, do you like that horse? Mm hmm Okay, let me read it to you what the ad says, okay? It says, where to begin? I suppose my heart is breaking, but knowing that I'm doing this for the greater good of my horse, meet Splash. His name is Splash. Also known as a cowgirl's dream. That is what I'm looking for, his partner. That cowgirl who will spoil him, love him, and show him and, and be the one for him. Splash is a 2009 model, so he's 10 years old. Same age as Gabby. He's 15.1 hands high. Splash is a personality in a category of his own. One word for him, clown. He is safe, smart, talented, rides western, neck reins, trail rides, jumps, has been in western pleasure training, lightly spins, etc. Oh yeah, did I mention he shakes a paw on cue? He shakes a paw on cue, but is not a learner horse. Okay, so I know what you guys are already thinking. He's not a learner horse. He wants someone to give him a good ride, push the right buttons, and he will do everything asked every time. He likes to play games, loves to be kept active, and have a job. I'm downsizing my herd, and a dude trail riding stable just doesn't showcase this guy's talent. If you're interested, please PM me. So anyway, yeah. So obviously, there are a lot of reasons why that horse is not good for us, but... We don't necessarily want a horse that the girls can ride right away. If we bought that horse, boarded him at a barn, and the girls could go there and be taught to ride him eventually, but could spend time with him and play with him, and he could be worked at our barn, and they could train him, or they could ride him, and they could do stuff. We don't necessarily want just a lessons horse. We just want a I horse. horse of we want a horse that they're going to grow into. They might necessarily not be Wait, ready. 15.2, 15.1 hands high. We just love him, you guys. I know you all are going to say, don't get him. That's irresponsible. He's not the right horse for you. But I don't know. That horse is calling my name. So yeah, we want that horse. Probably we're not going to buy him. Very sure we're not going to buy him. Definitely we're not going to buy him. But I'm so sad. We're just so ready to buy a horse. Even if all we can do is groom him and go for trail rides on him and uh, wait until the girls are bigger and ready to ride him, look I just want him. Look at him cantering a pool. Oh, look at him cantering a pool. He like jumps in. He's like as high as I jump, like, literally. That is the horse that's of my dream. Inches, like Guys, we are out in our trailer because it's nice and cold outside. It's been breezy and cold all day. Don't yeah, I love sleeping outside in that weather. So we are out here in the trailer. I got Gabby over there. Got the dogs on the table, just where you expect the dogs to be, right? Except for Toby and Macy. Yeah. And I only really want Toby to be on the table. So we're going to sleep and we're going to bring our blankets out make up our bed and we're gonna sleep out here and be nice and cold and sleep together as a family anyway i am gonna end today's video but first we're gonna do comment of the day okay so comment of the day comes from peyton knits lens hyphen lens and this is what she has to say she says i would recommend to just buy a horse once you lessen a horse for a while you get attached to the horse you get jealous when other people ride that horse especially when you lease a horse you get attached to it that's true it will be hard to leave that horse if you get your own horse you can have it forever forever until it dies or until we die if you um i would also recommend getting a young horse that has limited experience one that has been under saddle, but not trained like a schoolmaster. Everyone will tell you not to get a young horse. Getting a young horse was the best experience I have ever had. When you help train a horse, you can develop such a strong bond. You won't be able to ride it at first, and you will need some help from a professional, but the horse and you can all learn to grow together. The horse will teach you all lessons, and you will have to teach its boundaries, teach it its boundaries, but it is totally worth it. 
If you get an old school master, you won't be able to have it that long because, well, you know what I mean. If I can't convince you of that, at least get a young horse. We just bought a second horse and it is only four, but it is trained in level three dressage. She is half Arabian, half Frisian. Just no matter what, you please take this into consideration. Thanks for reading this long comment. Maybe a response, by the way, great video. So that again is from Peyton Knits hyphen Lens. And I think she has like a super valid point. I don't necessarily think we want a young horse that we have to train, but but definitely I think there has to be value in getting a horse and having help and get and learning how to train a horse. And our goal is not necessarily just to get a horse that we can ride right away, right, Gabby? She wants a horse you can ride right away, right? No, my goal. I really yeah, wanted to get a green yeah. horse and train it. Yeah, and you know what? She's only 10, but she has lots of years. And you know what? She's not going to train it by herself. She's going to learn how to train it with a trainer. So I think she brings out a really good point. And I think a lot of people just think that there's only one way to buy a horse and only one way to have a horse. But there are all different ways to have horses. Like I said before, some people are born into a horse family and are riding at two years old. Some people only go to lessons and only learn that way. There are so many ways to have a horse. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting information. I'm totally going to call this video something about I want to buy this horse or I found a horse that I want to buy because I found a horse that I want to buy and that's not clickbait. Is that clickbait? Right. Some people are complaining saying that, that we used like clickbait in today's video and yesterday's video but we didn't because we found a place that will lease to kids and that's what we named our video. Anyway, that is it for today and we're going to end can today's we video. Here, here for a little bit? Yeah, we can stay out here, of course. All right, so end this baby. First, I want a green donkey so I can train it. Yeah, we're going to train a donkey no matter what mom says. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Pick the icon right up there to watch another video. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.